Welcome friends. My name is Amy. Welcome to the Seattle Children's Museum's Museum at Home. So from my home to yours, I'd like to do an art activity with you. This one is around our friend Henri Matisse, who lived between 1869 and 1954. So let me tell you a little bit about some of the um, materials that you're going to need. You might want to have some brightly colored paper, perhaps some white paper, not absolutely necessary, but if you'd like to have some, it's a good contrast, uh, glue sticks, and a pair of scissors that you're not going to hurt yourself with. All right, um, let's get started. So when Matisse was younger, he used to paint pictures and the people, he did a lot of people, and the people in his pictures really look like people. So let's find you one here. All right. Now if I was walking down the street and I happened to um, come across a person who looked like this after seeing this picture, I might recognize them. This one? Maybe not as much. All right. So his work really evolved. Over time it changed. And when he was a lot older, he was unable to paint with a paintbrush anymore. So stuck at home, being sick, he came up with a new way to create. Love that. He made big, bold shapes, and he called it painting with scissors because what he did was he painted large pieces of paper, bright colors, and then he cut them out with scissors, and then he glued them down. So this one is called Spray of Leaves. Do these look like leaves to you? They could. You know, another thing that they look like to me is something that I've... Um, really enjoyed and, and been inspired by nature. Um, when I've been snorkeling, this kind of looks a bit like a coral reef. So that's another you know, possibility of what it could be. Here's another thing. He wasn't able to get out a whole lot at this point in time, but he could look through his windows and he could see the plants that he had and he would uh, create things based on that. So here are some real interesting shapes. Right? Big colors. And you'll notice he's got these little pieces too. So one thing that I'd like you to think about when you're doing your pieces is when you've got leftover bits, what are you going to do with them? Not sure. All right. Let's get started. I have this plant here because uh, Matisse used a lot of inspiration from nature. Um, I brought this plant out here so that we could take a look at it. Maybe you've got house plants at home and you want to look at those. All right. Or maybe you have something in your garden or maybe you're out on a walk and you find something that you think is really cool. All right. Earlier, I did a picture. This is my son. I went on a walk and I saw, I love the sunshine, and I saw um, bright sunshine out there. It felt so nice and warm and cozy. So I made a picture of the sun. Does this look strictly like the sun to you? Well, it makes me happy. So I'm going to get started on something else. What should we do? I have all of these cool pieces of paper. This one's shiny and sparkly. Hmm. All right. Well, I think maybe we need to do something with these leaves. And look, I have green. You'll never notice when I'm done, but it actually is a piece of scrap paper from Mm, a long time ago. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> I want to make leaves. I saw some in somebody's window that were really big, huge leaves with these look like slashes. And then I'm going to try that. Kind of like that. 
All right. If I put this down here and then I glue it, I don't think you can even tell that it was a scrap piece of paper. Huh? Mm, I like it right there. It's my start. Hmm. What else does it need? Maybe. Maybe it needs a ray of sunshine. Maybe it needs a flower. Let's try this. exactly what this is going to look like by the time I'm done but that's okay I can get inspired as I go along and sometimes the thing that I make isn't at all what I expected but it can be pretty cool oh. I wonder how I can use this that works. Now, if you have a hard time getting it to stick uh, and you want it to stick so that you can, you know, make sure that the person you're sending it to, if you happen to be giving it away like I am, um, you can always go back and add more glue if you need to. Not a problem. Okay. This is not coming down. All right. What else does it need? Hmm. Could it use a vine? Maybe it needs a different type of a shape. Maybe to go with all the round shapes, which Matisse really liked to do but didn't only do. Maybe with that, I need some big, bold, straight lines. So, you just make shapes however you want to. That makes your art project really pop for you. In the colors that you like, in the stuff that you have and if you're looking for something and you're just like gosh darn it I am not finding the right blue um, you can use like recycled paper you could use newspaper if you needed to all kinds of things you can decorate it with markers I'll use these little bits. I don't know. Okay. There you go. Hmm. So those are my two pieces of artwork. What are you going to do? Share them with us at Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter handles. Thanks so much for coming.